Digital audio research has been a major force in the design of digital audio products since 1982. Its parent company is one of the top 100 in the United Kingdom. Soundstation is DAR's market-leading digital audio production system. It's used in every aspect of audio production and post-production, from top radio stations to leading video and film facilities all over the world. The range starts with a cost-effective four-channel delta and culminates in the enormously powerful eight- and sixteen-channel Sigma systems. Soundstation itself consists of two units. Firstly, there's a processor unit, which is usually installed in a 19-inch rack in a machine room. It contains the hard disk drives, optional optical drive, signal processing hardware, and audio interfaces. Air conditioning is not needed as long as the air temperature is reasonable. The processor unit is connected by a single cable to the console, which may be located up to 50 meters away and is usually situated in the studio control room. The console is used to control all sound station functions. It contains no fans, so is silent running, and features a low-glare gas plasma screen to minimize operator fatigue, important if the machine is used all day, every day. The sound station console is a dedicated control surface that's been ergonomically designed solely for sound editing. It's not simply a modified business computer. It's been carefully designed to be fast and efficient in use and simple to learn. Many operations need to be selected quickly and easily without wasting time moving through endless strings of menus. On sound station, these operations are found on dedicated hard keys. For example, these keys are laid out like the transport control keys of a tape recorder and perform the same functions. They're used to control sound station as well as any associated VTR. Other keys control editing facilities and allow direct timecode entry and related functions. Most of SoundStation's information and editing functions are available together on the main screen, avoiding the need to struggle through multiple menus. For example, the currently selected queue or segment is named Car Crash. It's stereo, starts at timecode 0917 0116, ends at 0917 0723, lasts 6 seconds 8 frames and is commented sync at second bang. The three rows at the top of the screen give a directory of the segments of sound stored in SoundStation. They're automatically given take numbers when they're recorded into SoundStation, but they can later be named for easy identification and grouped together in any way to suit the operator, making the SoundStation directory very powerful and quick to use. To select an audio segment, it's only necessary to touch it using the touch screen. Touch it and it will light up. Key preview to hear it on its own. In the same way, a selection of segments can be auditioned simply by touching them and previewing them. Or an entire row can be played by using the play key. The currently playing segment is always highlighted. The touch screen is the simplest and most intuitive way to select cues or issue commands. See, touch, done. Some segments have a scissors icon at the end of their name. This indicates that this segment's actually a group of other segments. These can be seen by pulling the segment to the directory group window. Now the segments within the group are shown to the right of the group window. Some of these segments are themselves groups, so they can be pulled open continuously to find any individual segment. If the name of the segment being searched for is known, it can be accessed directly by using the find function. Collecting segments together into named groups is a convenient and natural way to organize a sound library, and any given sound cue can be found quickly and easily. Below the directory is the playback sequence. It corresponds to a reel of multi-track tape and is where a complete project is built up. It's easy to copy a segment from the directory to the playback sequence by touching the required segment, then copy, then the track on the playback sequence. Multiple copies of a selected segment can be made by touching copy, followed by, say, four, to give four copies, and then OK. 
Copy segments on the playback sequence can safely be edited or changed without changing the original source material. Other segments may quickly be added to the tracks in the playback sequence to build up a complete project reel. It's easy to slip the playback sequence segments in time with respect to each other, or to sync up to a picture with the slip function. An entire project reel can be saved by moving it to the directory, just like taking off and storing a reel of multitrack tape. This clears the playback sequence ready to start a new job. Just as easily, a reel that's been worked on earlier can be reloaded from the directory to the playback sequence almost instantly. Soundstation's powerful directory system can handle complete projects as easily as individual sound cues. When reels or segments are no longer required, they can be binned. The bin is emptied only when a load happens, so if a reel or segment is binned by mistake, it can easily be recovered by pulling the bin open and moving the required audio to another group or to the playback sequence. Soundstation has a very high quality scrub edit capability which is used to locate edit points and can be used for special effects. If a segment is played until a possible edit point is heard and the rock key pressed, Soundstation playback can be controlled with the scrub wheel. The fast forward key allows the edit point to be located at up to four times play speed. When the exact edit point is found, the edit is made by pressing cut. The segment is renamed on either side of the cut. In this case, POP 101 and POP 102. The edit can be reviewed using a preview key. Keying speed enables variable speed playback. The scrump wheel is used to alter the speed, which is shown in the speed indicator window. I'll try to discuss it's also possible to re-record the very speed playback to create special effects. Soundstation has a waveform editing function for very high precision editing. Scrub editing is usually much faster than waveform editing, but waveform editing offers advantages in certain difficult cases, such as click removal. Here's a piece of dialogue with a click in the middle of a word. Nice tea, dear. Too much sugar. The click is located using the scrub wheel, and the waveform editor is selected from the parameter window. Now the waveform at the playback position can be seen. A change of magnification shows more of it. The rock control is used to find the click precisely. Then zoom in to find more detail. A cut is made one cycle before the cycle containing the click at the zero crossing point. Another cut is made before the click, again at the zero crossing point. A third cut is made after the click. The click is then binned and the preceding cycle copied to replace it, bringing the cue back to its original length. Now the click is completely and imperceptibly removed. Too much sugar. It's often useful to be able to combine two or more segments into one or remove cuts in a segment. Segment merge will do both. It can combine any number of adjacent segments. Simply select the first segment, touch up to, and touch the last segment. Touch merge and the segments are combined into one. Soundstation has a sophisticated routing facility which allows various external inputs or outputs to be connected internally by commands from the routing screen. 
By using routing presets, the operator can quickly reconfigure the inputs and outputs. Individual routings can also be changed. To record successfully, sound station should be sample locked. The sample clock can be locked to a wide range of external sources, ensuring perfect tracking over long periods of time. A sync source is easily selected by touching the box in the sample clock source window. If the system is not locked, the main sync indicator will be illuminated. Sound station can also operate standalone on its own internal clock. Sound station can perform a drop-in recording just like a multitrack. Tracks 3 and 4 are set up ready to drop in a recording in the playback sequence. When playback is started, the sound currently on the track is heard. Key record and the record icons are highlighted and the source sound monitored as it's recorded. Keying play punches out and the original sound is heard again. On keying stop, the new recording is edited into the old one at the correct point. The original sound between the drop-in and drop-out points is saved in the bin in the cutouts group and can be replaced by using move or exchange. The new segment, Take 5, can be given a name. When name is touched, a keyboard pops up on screen so the operator can enter a name. A PC keyboard can be plugged into the console for those who prefer hard keys. Although naming is optional, it does enable full use of the powerful directory facilities of SoundStation. An anchor icon before a segment name shows that the segment is fixed to a time code. If two cuts are made in a segment and the center section is moved, the other two sections will stay fixed and in sync. If the middle section is moved back, the third section unfixed, and the middle section moved again or binned, the third section will automatically slide to the left to butt up against the first. Sometimes an edit can be improved if the hard cut is softened by a crossfade. SoundStation's powerful real-time crossfade feature allows crossfades from a few samples to many seconds long to be used. Here, a 50 millisecond crossfade is tried. SoundStation crossfades can quickly be altered in length and shape and repeatedly auditioned for optimum results. Crossfade shapes may be chosen from linear, logarithmic, or half sign. SoundStation can play all tracks simultaneously, with long crossfades on each track. Many other systems can only put crossfades on half the number of tracks, or force the operator to waste time recording them to disk. SoundStation will also add fades up or down, up to two minutes long on all tracks simultaneously. I gotta see. It's important. Meet me in one hour. SoundStation's built-in Time Warp software allows segments to be compressed or expanded by up to 50% without change in pitch or noticeable degradation in sound quality. This is done internally without needing any extra hardware. This segment is made 20% shorter. You haven't tasted it yet, do you? You haven't tasted it yet, do you? And by time warping the time warp, 20% shorter still. For a direct comparison, all three can be played. You haven't tasted it yet, do you? You haven't tasted it yet, do you? You haven't tasted it yet, do you? Too much milk, then. Sigma systems offer segment-based gain and equalization. Any EQ given to a segment stays with it even if it's moved or copied. This is much more powerful than a track-based automation approach, where, for example, slipping a segment in time could lose its EQ setting completely. Each segment has its own EQ strip containing low and high parametric shelving filters, as well as two parametric peaking sections, pan and auxiliary sends. 
Segment-based EQ also allows very sudden EQ changes, which may be needed if two cues with different backgrounds need to be cut together, or if a very short sound needs EQ. At the time when this story takes place, which is just a few years from now, the weather forecast is often as exciting as that. Uniquely, Sigma also allows cross-phase between EQ settings, so different scene EQs can be blended together smoothly. Sigma EQ settings can be adjusted even while the system is playing, making mixdown much quicker. EQ settings can be copied from one segment to another, and then the EQ settings for each segment can be modified independently. This is a great time saver when different segments need the same or similar EQ. A commonly used EQ can be kept as an EQ template, which is simply a short piece of audio with the required EQ. It's safe, taking little space, and allows the EQ to be recalled when needed by simply copying the EQ from the template to another audio segment. Soundstation can be used to spot music or effects to picture quickly and accurately. When the exact picture cue has been found, the audio segment can be selected and by keying spot and touching the required track on the playback sequence, the cue is copied and fixed in the right position. Track laying spot effects is made fast and accurate. Once in the directory, the effects can be laid to picture almost as fast as the sync points are found. It's also possible to put a mark within a segment and slip the segment so that the mark synchronizes with an exact point in the picture. In this example, the bang in the middle of a car crash effect will be synchronized. First, remote is exited so that the picture is not moved. The crash effect is selected and copied within the directory so as not to disturb the playback sequence. The audio sync point is found by rocking. And it's marked. Next, remote is enabled and the picture sync point is checked. The crash segment is selected and by keying slip, touching the mark box, then the remote timecode box and keying slip again, the marked point in the audio segment is lined up with the picture timecode. It can now be copied or moved to the playback sequence and played to check sync. SoundStation can control a VCR or Laserdisc player using Jog and Shuttle. However, it can be quicker to locate automatically to the start or end of a segment to review it against picture. Keying Jump will bring up the Auto Locate menu. A pre-roll can be set up, as in this case, to match the VCR pre-roll. The start time of the segment can be captured by touching the Start box. If OK is keyed, the VCR is located to the segment start point. Key pre-roll, however, and sound station and the VCR will start playing from the pre-roll position ahead of the start point. In this case, three seconds. One of the most powerful features of SoundStation is the optional WordFit software, which can automatically fit re-recorded dialogue to a guide track with great accuracy. These two mono segments are different recordings of a piece of dialogue. Track one is a location recording. Well, it has been quite apparent to everyone tonight that Martin Bormann has replaced you. Track two, a post-sync recording by a different actress. Well, it has been quite apparent to everyone tonight that Martin Borman has replaced you. The new recording, or dub, is out of sync with the original, or guide track. Well, well it has been, been quite apparent, apparent to everyone tonight, tonight that Martin, Martin Borman, Borman has replaced you. The guide track and the new recording are selected, and WordFit will fit the new recording to the guide automatically. The WordFit menu confirms the selected segments. 
WordFit uses variable warp factors to achieve different accuracies of fit. In this example, warp 5, a stiff setting, is used so that the new words are not moved around very much and the new dialogue is changed very little. The WordFit menu shows that the processing will take about 30 seconds. WordFit has graphics that show what it's doing. The three curves represent the sound levels over a five second period. The top curve is the original location guide track and the bottom is the post sync dialogue track or dub. They're similar but out of step with each other. The middle curve or warp is the word fitted dialogue which is the word fit edited version of the dub. It looks like the dub track but lines up with the original guide track. The word fit can be checked by playing the guide and the word fitted dub together. Well, it has been quite apparent to everyone tonight that Martin Borman has replaced you. WordFit has achieved in about 30 seconds a sync quality that would take a great deal of time to achieve manually, if it could be done at all. Many sound station functions can operate on entire project reels as well as on individual segments. For example, Reel Cut can be used to extract one scene from an entire project reel with a few keystrokes. The start and end times of the wanted scene are entered. The time codes can be entered directly or just copied from the first and last segments. The start of the first segment is copied to use as the in time, and in the same way the stop time of the last segment is copied as the out time. The required tracks are selected with the scissor edit icons. If everything's correct, continue. SoundStation creates a new reel called in this example Hardware 2 at the start of the directory. This is the material that's been cut from the original reel. To look at it, just exchange the two reels. On SoundStation Sigma systems, other operations on reels include scrub for all or just some of the tracks and very speed playback of all tracks together. Whole reels can also be moved in time, slipped to a mark or merged together. Complete reels or individual groups or segments can be saved to or loaded from removable magneto optical discs without interrupting normal operations. The opto segments can be played and edited from the directory just like other segments. BTR emulation allows SoundStation to be controlled via Sony RS422 serial protocol, just as if it were a BTR with many audio tracks. A typical application of this is auto-conforming. Drop-in events can be used to record automatically against timecode, either into SoundStation or to external VTRs. SoundStation is fast, easy to use and can be learned in just a few hours. It has a very wide range of unique, powerful and above all extremely usable editing and production capabilities. Every new SoundStation can be upgraded to the next level without redundancy. As the requirements of the studio grow, so can the production power of SoundStation. With the backing of a major corporation and worldwide modem technical support, SoundStation digital audio production systems can be relied on completely.